Hi guys, I'm Karen Cavett and this is HGTV Handmade. Today, to finish off my unofficial cardboard week, we're going to turn a box into a mini foosball game. How cute is that? It's perfect for kids to play with all summer long, or, you know, adults who still like foosball. Here's how to make it. We're going to start with a cardboard box. Mine measures 10 and 3 quarters inches by 13 and a half inches by 4 and 3 quarters inches. Yours doesn't have to be exactly the same, but that's what I'm working with. Begin by cutting off all of the flaps from the top of the box. Now measure and draw two lines on the long sides of the box. These should be three inches up from the bottom and then a quarter inch above that. Then measure and mark two and three quarters inches from each side of the box so that you have four marks like this. Now use a craft knife to punch a little plus sign at each of those marks. Then stick a pencil through them to open them up and trim some of the extra cardboard. Don't worry if this looks a little messy right now, we'll be covering it up later. Once you have four holes punched on each side, you can stick your dowels through them just to make sure that they sit nicely and you have enough space to kind of turn and move them. Now we're going to cut out the goal areas. Mine measure 5 inches by 2 inches, and I just made sure to draw them so that they were centered on the box. Now that everything is cut out of the box, we're going to cover it in contact paper. Here's a little trick. You can cut thin rectangles like this to stick into each corner first. That way, if the bigger pieces you cut for the sides don't quite sit straight, you don't end up with big gaps in the corners. If you don't have contact paper, you can always paint or decorate this however you like, but I like that the contact paper just sticks right on there with no drying time. And I think that white marble like this always looks classy. So once you've covered the entire box, use a craft knife and scissors to open up the goals again. And to make it look nice and neat, cut some small pieces of contact paper to fit over all of the edges. Now to open up the holes on the sides, use your craft knife to cut through the contact paper, and then use your pencil again to push through those holes. Trim the extra material, and then to clean them up, cut tiny strips of contact paper and stick them through the holes to make almost a star pattern. This will ensure that your dowels can move and slide through them easily. Now for the bottom of our foosball game, I cut a piece of museum board to be the size of my box and I painted it green. If you don't have museum board, you can use cardboard or any sturdy flat material that you have on hand. I cut mine to the exact right size, so it just slides right in there and stays put but you can always glue it down if you need to. Now we're going to make the actual goals. I cut more small pieces of cardboard and I covered them with more contact paper. Then it's just a matter of using a hot glue gun to assemble them into a little box and glue them in place so that when someone makes a goal, the ball doesn't fly and get lost all over your room. So we're almost done. We're just going to make our little soccer players out of clothespins. You'll need 10 clothespins, and I decided to paint them different colors so it would be easy to tell who is on which team. Now it's finally time to assemble the foosball game. Cut four dowels down to about double the width of your box. Mine measure 20 inches. Now for two of them, mark the halfway point and then three inches out from either side. And for the other two, mark two inches out from either side of the halfway point. This is where your clothespins will go, so put the dowels into the box and clip on your clothespins where you made those marks. To stop the dowels from getting pulled out from the game, wrap the ends of them with masking tape so that they're larger than the holes you cut. And then on the other side, you can wrap layers and layers of masking tape until you have a nice handhold so that the dowels are a little easier to grip. Repeat that on both sides, and I used two colors of tape for the two teams. Now for one final step, take each clothespin off of the dowel 
and use super glue to glue it into place. This will ensure that they don't spin or move around when you're actually playing the game. And that's it. Once the glue is dry, you've got a tabletop foosball game that you made out of a cardboard box. Use a ping pong ball as the soccer ball, and it's actually super fun. And we recycled a cardboard box that otherwise just would have been thrown out into a super fun game. How awesome does that look? It is perfect for summer, and it's surprisingly easy to make. So let me know in a comment right down below what you are up to this summer. Are you doing any craft projects? Are you going to camp? Are you just hanging out? Let me know right down below. Be sure to like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want even more DIY videos every single week. I'll see you guys next time.